Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out a simple game called Four Dimensional Minesweeper. It is part of my quest to find the most sadistic game of Minesweeper ever made, and anything with more than three dimensions is a surefire contender. This game is free on Steam, and also easier to parse than the name may suggest. You see, what we are looking at right now is a two-dimensional representation of a 4x4x4x4 four by four by four by four hypercube. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, let's just take the top left 4x4 four four right now, just kind of where my mouse is. You can just think of it as a normal flat 4x4. Four four. Everyone's done it before in normal Minesweeper. Even if you don't know Minesweeper, you know what a 4x4 four four is. And then let's just take the 4x4s four four in its same column. I would have four of them and imagine stacking them on top of each other. What you would do is create a cube in doing so, in which this space is directly below this space, which is directly below this space, which is directly below this space, a four by four by four cube. And when they're stacking a cube, uh, the spaces that are directly above and below each other are adjacent to each other. Now to go to the next dimension, I would ask you to visualize a hypercube, but most people can't do that, myself included. So we're gonna cheat a little. I would like to instead imagine four cubes side by side by side by side on a table, because realistically that's what this is, four cubes. And you just have to accept that the top left corner of each of these cubes is just going to be considered adjacent to one another. It's a good way to cheat and honestly it's a one-to-one -one mapping of an understanding. You know, same with the top right corners. These are just all adjacent to one another. Bottom right, bottom left. And if you ever get confused, at any time the game will actually highlight these cells that are adjacent to your mouse. So it's not that bad except for the fact it's 4x4x4x4 four by four by four by four, and there's 40 bombs in here. So I'm excited to see how challenging this can get. How about I start with a corner? <laughs> Great start. Okay, it's one of those. I'll find another one. All right, let's take another stab at this. Try a corner. Ooh, a generous zero to begin with. That's nice. So actually, that's a lot of information. This one and this one work together because I added four new cells without any mines, so I could mark these as non-mines. And same goes from this two to this two. I add four new cells, no mines. As an epic start. I don't think I can, oh, hold on. Oh yeah, this one to this one adds eight new cells with no mines. No, I'm sorry, 12. 12 cells with no mines, incredible. I mean, it's only gonna get harder now. We're seeing some pretty big numbers. A nine already, uncanny valley. I also can start marking things. I, the game doesn't have its own marking system, so I brought my own. And what I've done right here is just mark that one of these four has to be a mine. I can also do the same with this one. One of these eight must be a mine. Keeping it color coordinated. Everything from the same color is the same group. So then that brings me to this two. Well, there's already two guaranteed mines within the possibilities of this two, so I can mark the other cells as non-mines. Boom, 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 and boom. And then this two means that the four new cells house one mine, and I'll mark that. It's a little hard to see, but you can see it. And actually that solves this one perfectly. Since one of the four below it needs to be a mine, all the rest uh, cannot be a mine. So that allows me to eliminate a ton and erase some blue. Um, this one means one out of these eight are a mine, which I can mark with the black ring. And this two has two mines already marked, so I can get rid of the other four cells. That is a 14 <laughs> double 14s. I only figure, I mean, I guess they do cover a lot of squares. This three means that one out of the bottom left six can be a mine, and that's easily marked. This two means two out of these four are a mine, which I can mark with a double tally to denote two. And now this three already has three mines in its cover, so these two are not mines, and I believe that these two are not mines. So it's very bottom heavy. We're starting easy, but it's only gonna get harder. So this four has three mines in its vicinity and four cells that could be one mine, so I'll mark it. And then this five has four Four? Wait, no, is that five? Yeah, five mines, or yeah, five mines as vicinity already, so these two are never mines. Fourteens as big as we're gonna get. I'm sure it could be massive. Yeah, theoretically it could be up to 80 mines, <laughs> which is uh, not possible in this game, but surely in other games. Uh, I wanna draw some parallels between this two and this three. This three adds four cells and one mine, which means the black 
mine must be in these four, which means that these four are not a mine, and I can erase. Hmm, going from this two to this three adds four cells in one mine, which I can mark. Here's something interesting, going from two to three adds the blue horizontal line, so that's where the additional mine is between the two and the three, but it also adds four cells that now we know are definitely not mine, so we can get rid of these, these, this, and that. Looking good. What about this three? Wait, this three? Well, both this two and this three imply that in the bottom left four, there is one mine, so I should mark it. Well, this five has four mines accounted for and a fifth one in one of six possible cells, which I should mark. Well, going from this four to this five, I already gain a mine in the horizontal blue. So the vertical darker blue does not have a mine in its bottom two, so there's no mine here, no mine here. Well, this three has two mines accounted for and only four possible spots, so one of those four is a mine. How about this three? This three already has three mines in it and two cells that very well could be, or can't be mines. So goodbye. How about this five? I have the entirety of the vertical purple. I have the entirety of the black circle. I have the entirety of the dark red horseshoe, that makes four, and then two cells which could contain the vertical dark blue mine. So that means these two are not mines, and then one of these two is a mine. Nice. And do these new cells reveal anything? Uh, actually, going from this five to this five makes my life pretty easy. Because first off, this doesn't even cover that much. You're telling me there's five mines in here? Well, I guess the uh, bottom sections could do some hard carrying. But going from here subtracts no cells, and adds no mines. It adds a ton of cells, but also adds no mines. So that's a lot that I can mark as not a mine. Bam dee, bam dee, bam dee. And then this rows of three. I mean, hot damn. There's gotta be something I can juice out of this. Well, going from this two to this two, adds no mines, but eight cells. Wow, that is a ton of non mines and a zero, which I'll gladly take. I haven't had one of those in a while, and I can erase a little bit. Um, going from this four to this four adds a ton of cells, but no new mines. Ooh, that's actually gonna be pretty big, I think. I'll start by eliminating this, and this is a mine option. And then this, this, and that. I just gotta be sure not to make any mistake. I would hate to lose any of this progress. Anyways, I believe for vertical dark blues, that forces this to be a mine. And now I can erase a lot. Here's something interesting, going from this two to this four adds two cells and two mines. They're both in the top partition. So yeah, both this and this is a mine. Mm, something doesn't feel right though. These being zeros? Are we sure that's true? I mean, the logic is right, right? Assuming this is right, I can just mark off a ton of these. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. I guess it's time to find out. Yeah, because some are zeros, some are empties. Oh, I see. It's only after I free up all the other cells that they become empties. Anyways, that does force a mine to be right here. Anywhere else? Not yet, but I have a little racing to do. We're making good progress. Four mines down. They're going to fall like the Berlin Wall very soon. I'm sure of it. Well, this tube only has two uh, possible cells remaining, and they both have to be mines. So I'll mark it. Looking good. Uh, this is interesting. These two ones can help me narrow down the gold stripe because it just shows the bottom half of each of them must be a mine. So the top halves are not mines. Well, I do know that going from this three to this four adds only four cells and one mine. So I can mark it. I also know that these two both have exactly one mine covered. So the remaining four uncovered cells must house exactly one mine, which I can mark. Then I was looking about this two just does the same thing. Well, I guess I know that this five and this five work together. All it really does is show that this is not a mine because it was the only cell added. And of course, no mines were added. So I can do it and mark this as a mine. Wonderful. Making decent progress. Uh, here's something interesting. This two and going to this two adds two cells, but no mines. So that would, in fact, mean that these two are not mines. And I can shorten the black circle. Now, I'm very scared of the bottom right corner. It's going to house a lot. I'm putting it off as long as I can. Here's something. Going from this two to this three adds two cells and one mine, 
which can break up the horizontal blue line, meaning these two are not mines, and then one of the other two are. I feel like the white and dark red bends can kind of be regrouped. Instead of seeing as ones out of threes, I feel like I should approach it a little differently. For example, one out of these two are a mine, and that might make my life a little easier. And then I was looking at the difference between this one and this two. The only cells that are added are on the bottom left, basically. So one of these two is a mine. So now that should mean this two is satisfied. It's got two full mines in its section. So this is not a mine, this is not a mine. And that's a little helpful for breaking it up. Cause now we can do a little bit with this three. One out of six on the bottom is a mine. One out of six, that's gotta be good odds. Surely I can work with maybe this two. Actually, this two makes it a lot easier. It narrows it down to the bottom two. So I'll race. And now that should mean that this three has three mines already accounted for, so these four are not mines. And then this three is exactly the same. Going from three to five? Well, actually, I could look at this five, rather. Four out of five of its mines are already accounted for, so one out of two of the remaining are, in fact, mines. I also changed up the colors to make them a little more readable. How about this four? This four should have four mines already accounted for, and it does, which means these two are never mines. Um, going from this four to this four adds three cells and zero mines, so I can gladly get rid of these. And if you're curious why I'm not really looking at the camera, it's because I have to do the markings on my OBS, which is this way, where the game is this way, so it's a very different experience. Oh, this is interesting. Going from this two to this two adds three cells and zero mines, so I can mark them. It also means two out of these four are mines, which I suppose I should mark. Well, here's something interesting. This four has four mines already covered in blue, gold, and lavender. So that means the bottom half of the hot pink circle are not mines, and I can erase. And now going from this four to this five adds a grand total of one cell. Well, I think I can just mark a mine in the last uncovered cell by this five. It has four mines guaranteed, so the fifth must be here. Great. I feel like this four and this five can do something interesting. So between the four and the five, I add, I believe just one cell, which can be found in the bottom left. And it also adds one mine, so this must be a mine, and this cannot be a mine. Great. And this three, I think, is fairly telling. It's got the two purple marks and the one black mark, so everything else is not a mine, which means the bottom left the white is not a mine. And then this one is. Hey, there we go. And that's 10 mines complete, signaling a quarter of the way done, but uh, on time, we're definitely more than a quarter of the way done. The rest, I swear, are gonna fall like dominoes. I do know going from this three to this three adds two cells and no mines, so I can mark off both this and this as a non-mine. Well, looking at this five, four mines are already accounted for, so the other four can be marked as one possible mine. Well, this is interesting. Going from this four to this six, adds two mines, and the two mines would be in the yellow and the white sections. So anything that's not part of them, aka the bottom right square, is not a mine. That doesn't tell me that much, but it helps. Oh, this too, I think, is telling. It helps me no narrow down the orange section. Yes, if one of the two of the left side oranges must be the mine, then the other two will not be. Great. Well, then I can do something going from one to two adds four cells, one of which is a mine at most. And then I can look at, uh, let's go with mm, this three. I already have three mines marked out, so the other cells are non-mines. Um, well, going from this two to this four, I think is telling, or rather, is it? Actually, I'm not quite sure. Well, let's look at this four. It's got the dark red line. It's got the very hard to see narrow line. That's two, and then the there's only two cells remaining. I guess both must be mines. Yeah, that also solves the black line for me, which is nice. So mark it and mark it. Looking good. What else? Hmm, well this two only has, oh, it's like two out of seven. I'm not gonna do anything about that. Well, what I could do is go from this two to this two. I add one cell and no mines. So this is not a mine, meaning this is the mine. Great. And then I start seeing some funny stuff. Interesting. This one means one out of the two kind of in the bottom middle are a mine. And then this one means one out of the three in the bottom middle 
right, whatever, or a mine. Then this one has its mine already accounted for in the red, meaning this is not a mine, then this is thanks to the purple. Awesome. I think this one only has one option for a mine. And after double checking, that is the case. So this is the mine, these two are not mines. Looking good. Oh, I got zeros I can mark off. Oh, that actually helps a bit. Because this is not a mine. And then this is a mine. Okay, what are these other zero show I can mark off? Oh, I can mark off these two. Nice. All right, let's do some racing. Then what? Well, this one shows that one out of the two in the bottom right are a mine. So I can break up that uh, lavender into two sections. One in each of those sections. But this one, I could mark one out of four in the very bottom right. Uh, this two is actually pretty telling. It's already got two complete ones in the brown and blue, meaning that this is not a mine and this is. Great. Uh, this is interesting. Going from this three to this three adds one cell and zero mines, meaning this is not a mine and this is. And that I believe also forces a one out of two situation below the white. Oh, that's not necessarily true. Oh, hold on. I don't have the entirety of the white in this section here. Wait, why are there whites to the right of 7 and 10? How did that get there? Maybe it was just bad charting? I'm not going to mark them as incomplete because I know the oranges are good. So I know that within this two, one of the two whites is right. But I don't know about these. Well, I guess this five is then fully accounted for. I have five mines already marked. So these two are not mines, and I'll find out if I was wrong. Okay, good. Good save. Good save. Maybe just an incomplete chart somewhere. I don't think I necessarily did anything wrong. It's more that I think I just needed to erase. It was a normal gameplay. What's the deal with uh, this four? This four has got gold bottom left, and then the entirety of orange, white, and dark red. So I think that means the ones in the bottom right can be taken care of. Meaning these two are not mines. These two are mines. Looking good. Hell yeah. And I got half the mines done. They are all falling like dominoes now. Oh, and these zeros. Oh, this zero is so helpful. Look at it. These three are not mines. Forcing these three to be mines. Please be right. I'll be so disappointed in myself if not. I think we're good. Soon I will have to conquer this dastardly right side. Oh, boy. <laughs> this four has three mines accounted for, so I get a fourth in the bottom right of its section. I kind of want to mark this two. Two out of these four are mines could be helpful. Because then that means one out of these four on the right are mines. Eh, but I don't like how that split. Feels clunky. Um, how would I rather look for going from this three to this four? I add two cells, one mine, so I can split up the orange sections. Like that. Hmm. Here's something interesting. Going from this three to this six, I believe it adds three mines and three cells. And I can mark all three of these as mines, and this is a non-mine, looking good. And going from this two to this two adds two cells and zero mines. So I can at least split up the black. This one is interesting. It means that one out of those four are mines, which might prove quite helpful. I guess that means according to this three, there's two mines in the very, very bottom right. And what's funny is I'm kind of getting close to marking 14 mines. How many have I marked? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I only have two mines left to mark. Maybe that's just my way out. Oh, well, this one is telling. Since the black already covers the one, these two are never mines. That's a zero. Love it. This two is very telling. Only two possible cells, and they both have to be mines. Mark it, mark it, drop it, drop it. What about the zero? Oh, this zero gets rid of a lot. Goodbye, goodbye. Hello, and hello. 10 mines to go. Hopefully I can speed through this. This one has only one possibility for a mine. Let's drop it. This one already has its one mine covered. So this is not a mine. I think this three is interesting because there's only four cells and three mines. And I can't have both of these be a mine. That would overrule the white line rule. So both of these have to be a mine. There is one mine here which means these two are not mines. And the blue is now covered, so I can mark that off. Let's do some erasing. It's also able to clear out a ton of the purple. Oh, you're not needed anymore. 
I have six of the mines marked. Where exactly is the seventh? So the seventh is one of these two. I just want to confirm, I do have seven mines remaining and seven colors marked. So the other two cells are non-mines. I didn't need this logic, but I always like doing this kind of logic. Uh, one of these two is a mine, and two out of these three are a mine. Which means this is a mine, which completes the black. And now I should just be able to bring it home. Let me just figure out how. Well, this one already is covered by the white mine. So the purple up here is not a mine. This is a mine. This two is already covered by the brown and red. So this is not a mine. This one is. This two covers the red and orange. So this is not the mine. This is. This one has only one option. And this must be the mine. This cannot be. Two to go. This one tells me which orange is the mine. And it's the bottom one. This is not a mine. And finally, this one tells me that this is the mine. This is not the mine. And in 53 minutes, 38 seconds, I beat the game. <laughs> this was insanely challenging. I had to take it slow because I didn't want to lose 30 plus minutes of progress. So I just really made sure I was overthinking every decision I did just to be sure I wouldn't get it wrong. This was tough. That was very, very tough. Didn't need much guessing after the beginning. In fact, didn't need any after the beginning at all. Definitely check it out. Let me know if you want to see more four-dimensional Minesweeper. How insane could we make this? Hope you enjoyed following along. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.